For me, housework is about keeping a space clean and tidy, so that everyone who lives there has a smile on their face. And now, it looks like I'm responsible for another smile. <laughs> I'll do my best to deliver. If you hadn't put yourself out there during the vision hunt ceremony and taken on the Raiden Shogun all by yourself, I would have lost my vision and with it all my aspirations. I've been thinking about this a lot, and it seems like there's only one way I could ever properly repay you. I, Toma, give to you my weapon and my loyalty, and I promise to fight for you, no matter what. Lady Miko? Uh, what about her? <sighs> Every time Miss Kamisato sends me out to deliver messages, my least favorite destination is the Grand Narakami Shrine. Oh, uh, not because Lady Miko scares the bejeebers out of me. It's, uh, <laughs> respect. Yes, she strikes respect deep into my heart. <laughs> Those that receive visions should look after them. I certainly don't plan on losing mine. In my homeland of Mondstadt, almost everyone has great reverence for the animal archon Barbados. But people in Inazuma feel a little differently toward the Shogun. How can I put this? They feel love, respect, gratitude, but also fear. Honestly, I don't harbor any resentment toward the Shogun. Yes, she almost took my vision away, but ultimately, that's just because of her unique perspective. Everyone has their own perspective. There's nothing strange about that. The only thing I don't understand is her goal in doing so. What does she imagine eternity really looks like for Inazuma? And why is sacrificing her people's aspirations so necessary to achieve it? I can neither understand nor agree with her approach. <sighs> the Captain of the Crux. A formidable woman indeed. She once promised to take me out onto the open ocean to get a look at the thunderstorm that seals off Inazuma from the outside world. It's a shame that to this day, I've never had the chance to take her up on the offer. As the head of the Kamisato clan, he's in a tough position. With all the political upheaval, he has to contend with public disquiet on one hand and a bunch of self-serving degenerate public officials on the other. It's best not to dwell on it. All I can do is make sure to look out for him when he's at home. Milady is in all respects a well-rounded person. Erudite, compassionate, well-mannered, and elegant. The one thing she could do better is to speak her mind more. In fact, watch out for this the next time you're talking to her. Sometimes she looks like she's about to say something, but then she holds back. If that happens, keep asking her opinion. See if you can encourage her to open up a little. Of Naganohara Fireworks fame? She's so easy to get along with. Super straightforward, just says whatever she thinks. Oh, and Naganohara Fireworks are just incredible. You should take every chance you get to see them in action. Ah, on that note, here, have a coupon. Ah, Sayu. Stubborn Sayu. I've asked her countless times to teach me ninjutsu, but she always refuses. She even goes out of her way to avoid me now. I'm just a student looking for a teacher. Am I really that out of line? <sighs> the Tenryo Commission General. Hmm. Make sure to be extra careful if you have any dealings with her. She has a lot of power in her hands, and she's not very open to persuasion. Smiling and batting your eyelids certainly won't get you anywhere with her. Hmm. Word on the street is that he's quite a character. Apparently, he even has yokai heritage. Have you met him? If you two are close, maybe you can introduce me sometime. It's good to make friends from all walks of life, yokai included. <laughs> that guy is a detective for the Tenryo Commission. He seems to have his own way of doing things, not the easiest person to get along with. Also, any situation that involves a detective is probably not one that's going to end well. <laughs> I think I'll keep on giving him a wide berth. Oh? So Jean from the Gunhilder clan is the master of the Knights of Favonius now? Oh, she definitely deserves it. She's known all over for her impeccable conduct. Uh, oh, just the acting grandmaster? <laughs> well, someone of her standing won't care about titles. 
You've had a run-in with Eula Lawrence before, huh? <laughs> All I know is that their whole family are about the worst tempered people you could ever meet. You're better off steering clear of them if you can help it. Ah, <sighs> now I'm in a Mondstadt mood again. The memories. I'm not from Inazuma originally. I think I've told you that before, right? I took a boat all the way here from Mondstadt, found I liked the place, and was also lucky enough to meet the wonderful Kamisato siblings, so I just ended up staying. I get homesick once in a while too, so I completely relate to all the international merchants on Rito. I try to look out for them as much as I can, the difference between us is that they see themselves as just passing by, and have no intention of trying to integrate here. And because that's how they think, it becomes their reality. The majority of Inazumans will never see them as anything more than outsiders. For some of the more conservatively minded people in Inazuma, the idea of an outlander working as a retainer for one of the commissions is unthinkable. So there was a time when I was not that welcome here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd have been deported a long time ago without a couple of Kamisatos fighting my corner. I couldn't let the clan down after they'd been so kind to me, so I put in a lot of honest work, and eventually, everyone was finally able to accept me. I'm not sure if I should get into this, but uh, hopefully you won't mind. I went through a period where I really just wanted to go home. Mondstadt is my homeland, after all. But I was torn. It wouldn't be easy to leave Inazuma behind either. I mean, just look how good the people here have been to me. The Kamisato clan always has a room for me, and there are people I've met here that are like family. So, I went back and forth over it, and ultimately decided I'd stay in Inazuma. When I'm missing Mondstadt, I can just chat with you. <laughs> you don't mind my rambling, do you?